It is now my privilege to introduce His Royal Highness Prince Yigel Ogyen Wongchuk of Bhutan. As a trustee of the Tarayana Foundation, a charitable organization involved in grassroots level poverty reduction initiatives, he is very involved in implementing social welfare programs among needy sections of society. He is a member of the Royal Bhutan Army, and he leads the Bhutan delegation of more than 120 people that came from Bhutan to take part in this year's Folklife Festival. Please join me in welcoming His Royal Highness. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll feel a lot more comfortable if you were seated. Thank you very much. <clears throat> um, Your Excellency, Governor Perry. Uh, thank you for your seat there. Distinguished guest. And our dear friends, Kuzuzongpo, on this very special occasion, I bring to our friends, the people of the United States, the greetings of His Majesty the King, the government, and the people of Bhutan, and their best wishes for a very successful festival. We are deeply touched that the Smithsonian Institution has chosen to honor Bhutan by inviting us to participate in this wonderful festival. We would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to our friends at the Smithsonian Institution for their tireless efforts to make Bhutan's presence here today possible. This will be the largest exhibition featuring Bhutan overseas, and it is a great honor for me to lead the Bhutanese delegation to this important event and to present a tiny glimpse into the living culture and traditions of our, of our tiny kingdom. Bhutan and America are indeed two very different nations, different in size, wealth, geography, and population. But together, we share common values of liberty, justice, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, thank you. These values are significant in the lives of our people, and they are the foundation on which our development philosophy is built. My father, His Majesty, the fourth king, said in the early 1980s that gross national happiness is more important than gross national product. He emphasized that we must put the people at the very heart of development. Some suggest that the march of globalization leads to a bland world. We in Bhutan do not see this as an inevitability. We see it as a challenge, a challenge to develop while preserving our own tradition and culture. Bhutan's age-old tradition and cultures continue to provide the foundation of our identity. It is an essential feature that distinguishes us from the other nations in this age of globalization, and we are privileged to share it with you in this festival. In the words of my father in a speech in 1982, Bhutan is a country steeped in tradition where spiritual and cultural values which have come down through the ages still shape the lives of our people. While hydroelectric projects, roads and factories may be seen by some as the new temples of a fast developing nation. We believe that the roots of the people must be carefully nurtured and traditional values fostered so that the trauma of material change does not destroy the cultural identity of the people. Almost three decades later, His Majesty's wisdom expressed in our constitution 
continues to guide our state policy to ensure a sovereign, peaceful, and happy future for the Bhutanese people. As we open this historic festival today, we are confident that this festival will further strengthen the bonds and friendship and understanding between our two countries. It is in this spirit of goodwill and friendship that His Majesty the King, the people of Bhutan, offer this simple Buddhist temple to the people of uh, the United States of America. The temple was constructed by Bhutanese craftsmen here in the heart of this great nation's capital. We offer it as a symbol of our hopes for a future relationship as stable, as durable, and as sweet as a Himalayan pine that it is made of. We are very happy that this temple will have a home in the beautiful, and I dare say, Bhutanese campus of the University of Texas at El Paso. We are, we are very grateful indeed uh, to the president of the UTEP and her colleagues for making this possible. Your Excellencies, my dear friends, we are in the middle of a very historic year in Bhutan. We celebrate the centenary of our monarchy, the coronation of a new king, and through our new constitution, the introduction of a full parliamentary democracy. Well now, thank you. Well now, in this special year, it is my honor and it is indeed my pleasure to invite you to meet our people, to experience our culture, and to make friends at this, the 42nd Smithsonian Folklife Festival. And uh, please enjoy it, and uh, wish us well on our journey into the future. Thank you and touch the lift. <laughs>